everyone. I want to talk about setting up a space to paint in your home. So uh, I thought I'd show you my studio setup and talk a little bit about um, some safety things as well to make sure that uh, we're using our materials properly and wisely in the studio. So the first thing I really recommend is getting some, some cheap drop cloths. So in my space here, I'm not in my home. I actually am in a studio. Uh, however, I still don't want to get paint and things everywhere, so I have drop cloths set up. I have this uh, plastic one kind of on the, on the wall here, and then I have a canvas one that has a no-slip um, sort of grip pad underneath it because I am on uh, concrete floors here. So I have drop cloth below me and a drop cloth on the wall. So there really aren't any chances of um, of me getting paint anywhere that, that I don't want that. The next thing um, I want to talk about is where to set up our paintings to paint. Now, if you have an easel, that's fantastic. I've had so many easels and I've moved so many times and gotten rid of them in the move because they're really big and bulky. Uh, so I'm not investing in easels anymore. I really like working right on the wall. So right now you might be able to see, I've got two cinder blocks set up here and I've got a stool. Uh, so normally I work pretty big and that's kind of at the right level for, for me to work at. Uh, but the other thing I like to do is just pop, you know, you pop two nails on the wall, hang this right up here, and then you're at standing height. So I also like to stand a lot when I, when I paint. Uh, if I'm working with paper, just pin it directly to, to the wall. Uh, if I'm working on something really small, I do have this table over here, and I'll work on really small things on a flat table surface, but I don't work on large paintings flat. It distorts um, your perspective of what you're working on, so having it upright and parallel to your face on the wall is far better for anything that's going to be 18 by 24 inches or larger. So I also want next to my, my painting setup, um, the, an area for the tools that I'm going to be frequently using. So I have this really cheap metal, metal cart. Uh, it has three shelves, which is great. The stuff I need to really access is on the top shelf, and then I can just kind of store other things that I use on the, the second uh, and third tier of shelves. So right next to me, I'm going to want my palette. And I've got my paper palette right here. I have my medium right next to my palette, so I have the Walnut Alkid Medium, and I just pour a little bit of my medium directly on my palette so I don't have an extra jar or anything for this. The brushes I'm using at the moment, and the paint colors I'm using at the moment are right here. The other thing I have on my top shelf, but kind of farthest from me, are my cleaning supplies. So I have my walnut oil to clean my brushes. I do put my walnut oil in a little jar so that I can just dip my brush right into it and I don't get dirty oil paint in the nice container. Um, when you use jars in the studio, always label what's inside of them. So I have a piece of masking tape across this jar that says walnut oil. Um, I've made the mistake before of thinking, well, I only have one jar with something in it in the studio. Of course I'll remember what that is. And then, undoubtedly, you forget what's in there, and that's not, not good. So always, always label jars if you're going to pour things into, into a, a different, a separate container. On the floor here, and I'm not sure if you can see it, we're going to tilt this down. There we go. So on the floor here, this is where I have my additional brushes. I have a canvas brush roll that I love. Um, and I have my additional paints. So they're all here in this plastic container. Uh, it has dividers, so I have them separated out of like my reds and pinks together, my yellows, my blues, my greens, um, my earth tones, and so forth. So they're all here on the floor, but handy sort of at, um, at arm's reach. So that's basically um, what you need to set up a space. You don't need much, um, just a place to lay your painting or just a place to uh, work on your painting and a place to lay out your supplies. There are, however, two more uh, safety things I want to talk about in the studio. Um, 
Again, we're not using, I'm not using solvents, so I don't have to worry about, about that, about keeping um, solvents contained and keeping those fumes contained. Um, but there are two other things I wanna talk about. Uh, I always have water or coffee with me while I'm working, uh, and if you are the same, uh, make sure you have containers with lids. So I have a water bottle with a lid, I have a coffee, travel coffee mug with a lid, because you never want anything oil paint-ish to accidentally um, spill or splash into an open cup, or um, accidentally take your paintbrush and dip it into an open cup. So drinks with lids in the studio, and I recommend not eating around your, your oil painting. Um, paint pigments aren't something you really want to ingest. The other thing that's really important is your rag. So I always have my painting rag up here by my palette. I use my rag constantly. And at the end of a painting session, there's gonna be lots of, of oil paint on your, on your rag. Um, and oil paint, as it cures or sets, it can heat up. So we don't want to throw this in the trash. We don't want to shove it into a jar. We don't want to wad it up into a bowl because that heat, although unlikely, uh, it could uh, spontaneously combust. And that is no good. So when we are done with our painting session, we just take our rag, uh, lay it out, and hang it. So I just hang it over the edge of my cart here, you can have a hook or a nail or something in the wall, side of your easel, but just always make sure you hang that up um, because it does need to um, be laid out to dry uh, and only when it is completely, completely dry um, should that ever go in the trash can. Now, you don't frequently need to throw these away. Uh, this is a very new, very unused rag. Um, I use these until there's like no visible white rag area left um, for oil paint. Acrylic, you need to throw them away more often because they get really stiff and hard, but for oil, you can use these until they are unrecognizable as a, as a white rag. So that's a little bit about my space, um, how I set things up for convenience and um, to make sure that I'm working in the safest way possible.